Hi YouTube, this is PC Night 5 Record. I'm gonna show you how to have two or more operating systems in one computer. There are two ways. The first way is by creating partitions. Uh, you separate your artists into two or more parts and these parts are called partitions. You can install on each partition one operating system or you can keep some of them as storage to use for the storage and uh, the second option to have more operating systems is by using some programs that install them virtually the first one is Sun VirtualBox Microsoft Virtual PC and VMware on this video I will show how to install how to use this how to have two or more operating systems using a program one of three, these three programs the next video will be about the partitions so uh, I'm going to tell you some few tips uh, this Microsoft Virtual PC and VirtualBox are totally free but VMware Workstation is with money you've got to pay but if you search for keys you can find some of them on the internet they are pretty easy and uh, between three of them I will recommend some virtual box it's easy to use and because I will not recommend because of virtual PC because I used it and I don't like it anymore now because it uh, the virtual PC doesn't let you because of virtual PC doesn't let you to operate with USB. If you insert a USB, uh, you cannot uh, view it on your operating system. On your, for example, Windows XP, it was not uh, the problem of operating system, but it was the problem of virtual PC because they didn't install an add-on about the USBs. And uh, VirtualBox and VMware have the USB operation. You can operate there with USBs. And another problem of Virtual PC is when I open a song on my operating system, the song uh, got stuck sometimes and I couldn't hear it uh, clearly. So I totally deleted it. But I just got it to show you. So today I'm going to use VirtualBox to show you. It's very very cool. So I've got here two operating systems, Windows 7 and Windows XP. I'm going to create a new one. Here you will click next. Here you name it. I will name test. Here you click uh, choose the operating system. Uh, Microsoft Windows, Linux, Solaris. BSD type, different types of them, and after you choose one of them, then you choose the version. I will choose Windows 7. Next, the RAM 1 Giga, you should type it with megabytes, 1024 megabytes. You can choose as much as you want, but till. 1500 megabytes that's the total RAM that the this program allows you 1500 megabytes then click next and then up here is the virtual hard disk part you can either either create a new hard disk or use an existing one if you create before you can use but I will create a new hard disk next up here you click next you can go up here on the fixed uh, size storage if you choose for example 10 gigs you just can you it's it creates a fixed storage of 10 gigs and you can use only this part of 10 gigs. if the uh, memory goes full till 10 gigs you cannot uh, expand more you have to create a new hard disk then mount it there are some different options I will show uh, during the video uh, so with fixed storage you just create a fixed hard disk storage 
and with dynamically expanding storage you can create the same storage for example you create a 10 gig storage and when it goes when the artist is full you can expand it and that's the uh, that's make uh, that uh, that makes the difference between them I will use the fixed or size storage then put next we'll name it and you can make it to terabytes but I will use let's say five gigs Yes, 5 gigs, then click next, click finish to start to create it, and oh, it's very, very, in one minute I will be back when it's finished. 